Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the very creepy moon emoji. By the way, just in case you have any more emoji related needs, feel free to check out the card system and the link below down in the description for my emoji tutorials playlist. There's actually quite a few of them in there now. Moving on, if you want to make the moon emoji, here's what you're going to need. You will need some light blue clay and some blue clay. Also grab purple, magenta, pink, black stain clay and the last material that you will be needing is a white wool and once you have each one of these materials right here and once you've figured out where you want to make it I'll be making it right here you're going to want to kick off the moon emoji with a single light blue clay on the floor then from that blue clay do an up left diagonal then go left of that diagonal by two one two then do an up left diagonal then go left by one then do an up left diagonal and go left by one then do three up left diagonals so that's one two three then go up on top of that third up left diagonal by one then do an up left diagonal and go up by one then do an up left diagonal and go up by two one two then do an up left diagonal and go up by four so that's one two three four then do an up right diagonal and go up by two one two then do an up right diagonal and go up by one then do an up right diagonal and go up by one then do three up right diagonals so that's one two and three then go right to that third upright diagonal by one. Then do an upright diagonal and go right by one. Then do an upright diagonal and go right by two, one, two. Then do an upright diagonal and go right by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by two, one, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by one. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by two, one, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go down by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by two, one, two. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by one. Then do three bottom left diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go left by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go left by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal. Go left by two, one, two. Then do a bottom left diagonal and connect all the way back to where you first started to give you this very large circular shape made out of your light blue clay. That's what you want to have guys. So once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So come all the way down to the bottom center bar of your emoji. You're looking for these three bottom center blocks right here. Well, on top of these three bottom center blocks, you want to do four rows of three light blue clay on top of each one of these blocks. So that'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, just like that. What you then want to do is a row of three regular blue clay stacked directly on top of them. Then stack another row of light blue clay on top of that row. Then do another row of regular blue clay. You then want to do a single regular blue clay going left and right of that middle row of three light blue clay. You then want to do another row of three light blue clay on top of that regular blue clay. 
Then take out your blue clay again and going left and right of this row, do two blue clay, like so. Then starting with this left one first, you want to do an up left diagonal. Then from that up left diagonal, you also want to do a bottom left diagonal and an up left diagonal to give you that shape. And not only do you want to do this on the left hand side, you also want to do the exact same thing on the right hand side. So coming to the right here, take this block, do an upright diagonal, then you want to do another one, but you also want to do a bottom right diagonal at the same time as well to give you this shape. Once you form this shape, you now want to take out your light blue clay again, and on top of this middle row of light blue clay, you want to stack two additional rows, so that'll be one and two, just like that. Then on top of this middle block, you want to do a single blue stained clay. Then do a light blue clay on top of that. Then take out your blue stained clay again, and going left of this clay, do two blue clay, then go on top of the second blue clay, like this, to form this shape. And not only do you want to do that on the left, of course, you also want to do the exact same thing on the right. So coming to the right here, going right, two, one, on top. Just like that. And that is just the mouth and the nose. Once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come to the left-hand side of the nose, starting from this block that we placed going upwards, take out your light blue stained clay, and go left of this block by four. So that's one, two, three, four. What you then want to do is go on top of the third and fourth blocks here, each by two, so that'll be one and two, like so. Then take out your white wool and do two white wool. Then starting from the left hand side here, you want to do two up left diagonals with your white, so that'll be one, two. Then go up by one. Then do two up right diagonals with your white, one, two. Then go right by one. Then, do a bottom right diagonal with your purple stained clay. Then a bottom right diagonal with your black stained clay. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal with your purple stained clay. That is the outline of the eye. What you can then do once you've done the outline of the eye, you can actually just fill it in if you want. We may as well do it whilst we're here, guys, because otherwise we're just going to have to come back to it, and then it won't make any sense because we've already moved past it. So, this is what you want to have for the eye, guys. You just want to have something which should look a little bit like that. I feel as though it's actually easier to just kind of look at it and kind of do it for yourself rather than me try and explain it to you. I don't think that would work out well at all. So that's what you want to have for the eye, guys, and that's just purple stained clay and magenta stained clay. Once you've got that taken care of, we can then move on to the eyebrow. So coming up to the eyebrow now, guys. So you're looking for this white block that we have right here. It's kind of the upper left-hand corner block, this one. Going left of this block, you want to do three light blue stained clay. One, two, whoops, one, two, three. There we go, three light blue stained clay. And on top of the third clay, do a blue stained clay. Then three up right diagonals, so that's one, two, three. Then go right by four, one, two, three, four. Then go down by one. Then right by one. Then down by one. To give you this shape. That's just the eyebrow. Once you've got the eyebrow taken care of, you now want to take out your light blue stained clay again, and going right of these two blue clay blocks, do two rows of three light blue. So that's one, two, three, and one, two, three. Just like that. And what you then want to do is a row of two blue clay going right of that. We're now going to do the other eyebrow, which is of course just a mirror image. So, going right of this upper block that we have right here, just do one blue clay, then go up by one, then go right by four, one, two, three, four, then do three bottom right diagonals, so that's one, and two, and three, to give you your eyebrow shape. We then want to go underneath this third bottom right diagonal by one with our light blue, we then want to go left of it by two with our light blue, one, two. Then do one purple stained clay. Then bottom right diagonally of that, do a black stained clay and go down from it by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal with your purple stained clay. Then take out your white wool and do a bottom left diagonal. Then go left by one. Then three up left diagonal, or two up left diagonals I should say, one, 
and two. Then go up by one, two up right diagonals, one and two. And then right by one to give you the outline of the eye again. And of course you could have just filled in the eye whilst we were doing it. But that's the outline and then we can just fill in the eye itself. It's always easier to do the outline first. Especially for explaining purposes than it is to do the actual eye. What am I doing? Oh wrong colour. That's that's why things look wrong guys. I used the wrong colour. So we're now just filling in the eye. And again it's just going to be easier for me to just kind of do the eye. And then show you what it should look like. So you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. So it's literally identical to the opposite eye and once you've got that taken care of you have your very very creepy looking monobrow looking moon face all we have to do now to finish this off guys is we just have to fill this in with light blue stained clay which is exactly what we're going to do so i'm going to do that right now this this moon does not look good when it's not filled in some would argue Possibly I would argue that this thing doesn't look great even when it's filled in but the moon emoji was highly requested so I didn't really want to leave it and I, ca I feel as I can just talk about this guys since all we're doing now and like I just said just to reiterate all we have to do now is just completely fill the rest of the moon emoji in with light blue clay there's nothing else that we really have to do so um, I did consider just not making a tutorial for this guys because I'm not 100% happy with this thing but this thing's really really hard to replicate in Minecraft. I don't know if you've seen the actual moon emoji. I'm pretty sure you have. If you're making this, I'm sure that you actually like the proper moon emoji, which looks a little creepy all by itself, but it's really, really difficult to make in Minecraft. This is this is as close as I could possibly get, and I'd honestly like it if I could get closer, but I, I just can't. I've I've made it about three different times now. I've I've tried three different things, but I this this is as good as it can get, and I think that it at the very least captures the creepy this fact you know that it's the moon emoji when you look at it there's there's absolutely no mistaking this thing so uh, that's uh, just to say that you know this isn't like my random first draft attempt especially if you guys watch the creative worlds you know that I've went through I've went through a couple of attempts trying to make this thing the first one the original version of this um, it was a little less detailed plus I kind of um, had like a border of regular blue stained clay going all the way around it like I do most of my my um, pixel arts, they all have like an outline. But um, I took that away. I added a little bit to the nose, a little bit to the mouth. I made it a little bit more realistic. I made the eyes slightly bigger. I took the outline away. And I think I also made the eyebrows a little, more, a little bit more expressive as well. So... Um, yeah, that, a lot goes into these emojis sometimes, guys. A lot goes into them. They're, they're kind of difficult to build sometimes, difficult to design, but I give it a go. I try to make them look as, as close as possible. I, 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 think that I, I think I can say I at the very least try. I just try my hardest, guys. But yeah, I, I, it's not perfect, but I'd like it. I would like it to be a little bit better, but I just don't know how I'd go accomplishing that. That's, that's the only problem. So hopefully you guys like this anyway. Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully you'll be displaying this in your world's next wall of your other emojis. I think I've made... How many have I made now, guys? I mean, I can check the playlist after this, but I think I'm on like 8, maybe 9, maybe 10. I don't know. I've, I've made quite a few. But here we go, guys. This is the moon emoji. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's turn the interface off. So, got it. It's creepy. It really is. One of you guys called it a pedo moon, which I quite liked, so that made me chuckle in the comments. So, <laughs> pedo moon. So, hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you've managed to make it. If you do like it, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a like, favorite, share, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out. I do go through quite the design process to make some of these things. Um, feel free to check out the card system and the link below down in the description for my emoji tutorials playlist. It's getting bigger and bigger. There's quite a few things in there. I'm sure you'd be able to find a few that you liked. And feel free to like leave a comment leave a comment down below telling me what emoji would you like to see next i have quite a few on my plate um, i'm doing quite a few of the animal emojis at the moment but feel free to uh feel free to comment before uh before feel free to comment as well and i i'll probably end up making your emoji to be honest with you guys i i seem to like all of them so just do check out the playlist beforehand though because i may have already made the one that you want and thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video